Hey guys and welcome back to the Restroom Worker. In today's video I'll be showing you how I made this electromagnetic gauntlet which is powered by four lithium 18650 batteries and has an electromagnet on it that can hold up to 80 pounds. So with this gauntlet it has a little button that turns it on and off and with it once you turn it on it attaches right to metal and then once you let go of it the metal falls right off. So if you want to see how I made this stay tuned with me and I'll show you how. First thing that I did was I adapted this lithium ion battery pack off camera in order to have all the batteries be in relay. And then I laid it out on this piece of flat stock steel and I cut it out the piece of metal in order for it to have the battery pack fit really nice on it so that the battery pack can have about one half of an inch of a space around it on all sides of the piece of metal just in case so that I could attach all kinds of mounts to the glove. Now that I have the battery pack, which is going to go on my arm, I had to cut another spacing piece of metal that would go from the battery pack to my wrist, which would connect to the electromagnet, and I cut that off with my chop saw. Then in order to make a hinge, in order for my wrist to actually be able to bend up and down, I used this stainless steel hinge that I marked out to be the exact width of the piece of flat bar steel and I cut that out on my chop saw also. Then I had to make the part of the glove or the gauntlet that would cover the top part of my arm and I had to use two pieces of steel in order to make it and then actually off camera I added a third piece of steel because it wasn't wide enough to cover all of the top of my hand because oh, I was just doing this on the go and I didn't really take measurements. And now I need to weld all of these pieces of metal together. <clears throat> and I welded all of this together with my MIG welder. The first thing that I did was I tacked all of the pieces of steel together and then I laid down a nice thick weld across all of the mating surfaces on the metal. Now while I was mounting the hinge onto for the wrist movement, I decided that it would be smart to leave the top plate unconnected for right now so that I could actually build the part of the gauntlet that would be covering my arm and actually have the magnet attached to it because that would be much easier to work with it without it actually being connected to the gauntlet. Then I measured out the, si the lengths of the sides so that they could actually cover the sides of my hands and I cut that out on the chop saw too. And then I just tacked and welded those on with my MIG welder again. Now the next thing that I had to do was mark out the correct length for the pipe that I would actually hold on to. That would have the switch inside of it. And I cut this off with the chop saw too. Now as you can see the right part of the gauntlet I have attached with magnets for now because if I weld that part on it will be really difficult to weld the pipe on. And as you can see I cut out a little slot in the pipe to fit this little momentary switch inside of it that I got from a microwave. And now what I did was I attached connectors to it so that I could extend the wires so that they could go outside of the gauntlet and so that I could connect them to the battery pack and to the electromagnet. And I did this with just these little clip connectors that I crimped onto the wires. Once I had the connectors on there, I just connected everything back together just to test if it worked. And as you can see, the electromagnet really grabbed onto this metal plate. And once I let go of the switch, it just comes right off. So now that I knew that that worked really well, I was ready to weld the pipe into onto the gauntlet and I also tacked and then laid down a nice bead of weld around it and in order to sh keep the terminals from shorting out inside of the metal pipe I covered the connection points on the momentary switch with some heat shrink tubing. And now that I had the switch inside the pipe I was ready to weld on the other side because I won't be taking the switch out anymore now that I know that it works and that I have a good fit for it inside the pipe.
After I was done molding it, I epoxied the momentary switch into the pipe just so that in case I pressed way too hard that so that the switch wouldn't cave back into the pipe. And I just used some 5 minute epoxy in order to do this. Now that I had both of the sides ready, I was ready to cut off the front part of the gauntlet. And since the electromagnet that I'm going to use has a threaded part inside of it, I threaded a one quarter inch bolt inside of it and then through the tapped holes I was able to attach the magnet onto them. And as you can see I only used one of the holes but I was hoping to have two of these electromagnets but for some reason the company that I ordered them from only sent one. So for now I'm only going to use one on it but once I get the second electromagnet I'm going to mount them side to side on the using the side holes. And in order for my arm to fit into the gauntlet without getting it all scratched up because of the metal, I just took some of this cheap uh, kids foam and I cut it to shape and in order to have it fit into the gauntlet correctly. And then once I had that cut to shape, I saw glued it into place. But before I did that, I re-welded the hinge back into place so that the gauntlet was one piece yet again. Once I had this all welded together, I had to mount the velcro strap that I would actually have around my arm. And I drilled three holes in the metal plate, and then I hot punched three holes in the velcro using a heated up nail. And then I popped rivets through all three of the holes. And then the next thing that I did was I cut them off and also peened them over with a ball peen hammer just so that they would be relatively flush. Then I applied all the foam to the inside of the glove and the gauntlet itself was actually ready. Now since I wanted contrasting colors on this gauntlet, I spray painted it all, both sides of it, to give it a flat black coloring. Then once I had everything painted, I was ready to mount the electrical all together and I glued the battery pack to the back onto the plate that I actually made for the battery pack and then I soldered the wires all together and covered them in heat shrink tubing just to make them look really nice. And now the glove is pretty much fully functional with four lithium ion batteries fueling it, generating about 12 volts. Once I had the gauntlet all finished up, I wanted to test it out. So at first I tested it out with a five pound cast iron weight, and then I tested it out with a sheet of steel that was about 40 pounds, and it lifted both of them up easily. So thank you for watching this video, I'm going to be upgrading this gauntlet in future videos, so stay tuned for all those upgrades, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.